I want to spend a few minutes and introduce you to Beyond Connecting the Dots, Modeling for Meaningful Results. The, the subtitle says it's a new kind of book, though it's calling it a book is sort of rather inappropriate. We set out to create what we thought was going to be a book and a, an e-book, though as it turned out, and which I expect you'll see in a moment, it's actually more of an interactive learning environment that installs as an app rather than an ebook. When you initially go into Beyond Connecting the Dots, it looks like any other ebook. You can click on the right and, and go forward or click on the left and change pages. There's an included table of contents that you can scroll through. You can click on the bottom and, and it shows a slider that you can navigate through the content with. Though that's about the extent, oh, and there's also an option to change the the size of the, the text. And there's there's where the similarity between Beyond Connecting the Dots and typical um, ebooks ends because as you move, as you read through the book, you will run into insets which are actually links to embedded models, which if you click on the title, will take you into an environment where you can, in some instances, the model is simply a storytelling unfolding of a model that has been created. And once you finish the story, if you click close, it will take you back to the place that you were in the text. In other instances, the model is in fact a simulation model that walks through and describes aspects of the model, actually runs a simulation for that portion of the model. And as you continue, it further unfolds the model, provides a simulation perspective of that aspect of the model. And as it continues, it fills out the model and will provide you a perspective on the full set of interactions from a simulation perspective. And then it will actually move into a mode where it will allow you to alter the parameters for the model and run simulations on your own to, to get a sense of the implications of those assumptions for that particular model. And when you're finished, you can simply click close and go back into the content itself. Now, all of this is happening in the context of the app, and you can do all of these things without being connected to the internet. The modeling and simulation engine is in, is embedded in the context of the app itself. There are certain aspects where it, oh, and in addition, you will run into places where there are exercises embedded in the content, if, and some of them have answers and if you click on answer, it will take you to a section where it provides the answer and you can click and get back to the content. In certain instances, there are aspects or certain things that you might want to do that you need to be connected to the internet to do. For each one of the models, you there is a footnote which will take you to a place where it provides the actual link into Insight Maker on the web where you can go and look at the original model that was created and then embedded in this app. Now Insight Maker itself is a web-based modeling and simulation environment which is free and currently has about 18,000 users and there's probably about 10,000 models in here at the moment developed by those registered users. If if and you can go there and, and fill out and simply get a free account. And then you can use the environment to the extent that you want to. Though from the content that is in the book, if you then click on one of these links, this will take you to the actual model inside of Insight Maker. You can exit from the story. And then you can clone this insight and make a copy of it that belongs to you, meaning that you can do anything you want to it. You can alter the structure, modify the formulas, 
run simulations. So because if it's a, because it's a web-based environment, it allows one to readily build on the work that has been developed by others to ex to extend the models. So all in all, this environment I I said it's an interactive learning environment. I tend to tell people that I think it's very much like reading a book about riding a bicycle while you're on the bicycle learning to to ride it because it's not a set of content that you consume. It's a set of content that you partly consume and partly you interact with to develop a better understanding. And we um, encourage you to, in fact, get involved, work with the simulations, develop a better understanding, and and then use that understanding to develop your own models for a better understanding of situations that you're involved in. And this um, version 1.0 will be released for the Mac and the PC environment on November 13th of this year and with the iPad, iPhone, Kindle, and Android versions to follow in about four weeks. So enjoy. I hope you find it most informative. Bye.